the word sustainability, what does that mean to you? We've been preparing for a while for our focus groups. We wanted to get kind of an opinion of business and residents in Broomfield on what sustainability means to them. They are in the process of updating their comprehensive plan and they have an environmental stewardship section of that plan and this is where your input is so important. We're really trying hard to engage the community in this discussion. We really want to know um, during these times of limited resources what are their top priorities? What do they want to have their city government focus on? Sustainability is a topic that is uh, emerging in every community that we work with, the National Civic League across the country. Um, it is a trend that will not go away. We just initiated our first day of focus group meetings. We had the businesses and the residents separated so that we could get different perspectives. It's very interesting to have a city with all of these residents that have all of these varying skill sets and all of this knowledge and information to share and bring to the table. To me, the bike trails and everything, I, I really like riding on them. <laughs> I think they're really great and you don't find that in a lot of other cities around. It's an ideal community. I think a lot of people really recognize that Broomfield is a good type of family community. I think a lot of Broomfield residents want their voice to be heard. And so when I had received a phone call, I thought, I'll go ahead and make time and put it in my schedule and uh, go down and, and, and see what it's about and see if I might be able to add something because it is a great community. And I think that if we want it to stay a great community, that we need to let our voice be heard. What are some of the specific um, things in Broomfield that you would like to see preserved for future generations? We are graduate students at University of Colorado, Denver, and we are part of a class defining and measuring sustainability, and we have partnered with the City of Broomfield to kind of help them defining sustainability and where they are and where Broomfield needs to go and improve upon. So we've been planning this for a while. As students and as part of the class, we've been involved in this all semester. So we've been building up to this, and these were the first meetings that that we actually held. Our program is a very unique program that cuts across engineering, architecture and planning, public policy and health and behavioral sciences because we strongly feel that sustainability is a challenge that crosses many disciplines. The three E's of sustainability, the social, the economics and the environmental. The goal is to find that compromise to all three of those. Well, a lot of them were very into defining Broomfield, giving it a label and make it sustainable with bringing businesses in and keeping residents in the area and making it um, sustainable there. One of the biggest things and most interesting aspects was that they feel like education is most important. You know, hold off on some of the more aggressive regulations or policies. They really feel like starting with education is the foundation and that is true, you know, in general. And I can see that that's very important. So education for them, educate, educate, social marketing, make people aware, give them information and allow them to start to gradually make changes from there. That was kind of one of the key aspects of our meeting today. Sustain, meaning to keep what you got. Maintain. Right, to maintain. When I look at sustainability, I look at it from an environmental standpoint. I think one thing about the city, it's a very safe city to live in. We are very focused on this type of activity, revitalization, sustainability, and that, and it fits my core values. That's where my interests are. They want to preserve the environment, and they want to have a way of doing that. They want to control the growth, and they want to have, um, you know, good quality of water, good good air quality. So this is a time that that we can take advantage of that momentum and just go for it. How do we keep growing but keep it the sustainable lifestyle? How do we interject that into all of these growth patterns that we have and all the planning that we do? And how do we make that part of of what we do? I think all of us started off saying, what is sustainability, you know, what particular aspect? But as we got into the discussion, I think the sustainability really is very relevant to every community because it's talking about um, sustainability in terms of uh, roads, you know, water, uh, wastewater, uh, where we get our electricity from, what we're going to do over the coming years, the growth and how people get around, uh, and really what we want our town to be like. It's fun to be able to hear different people's ideas because everybody comes from a different knowledge background and so it's a lot of fun to hear different people's ideas but I think a lot of the ideas that they were talking about we all related with. 
because they're talking about uh, recycling and garbage and how those build up over time and, and what we can do in terms of recycling and just the everyday things that we need to take a look at. The residents are the ones that live here and are paying the taxes and the city of Broomfield wants to make sure that they are representing the residents properly and the businesses have a stake in it as well because they locate their businesses here. A lot of the people that come to their businesses are residents of Broomfield. It's fun to be able to come and have your voice heard uh, in a city setting, in a community where you live. There's a lot of differentiation on what people believe these terms mean. They hear all of these things about climate change and, and you know greenhouse gases and green this and everything is green. And I think that it's essential to this process to have the citizens involved, the stakeholders involved, the business community, and really get their buy-in so that some of these initiatives or ideas could actually be implemented. The next step is we're going to take the information we got from this focus group tonight and kind of make a sustainability survey and we're going to survey the community based on what these people said, what they believe sustainability is to see if it's consistent with the rest of the community and then we're going to take this information and give it to the sustainability task force who will use it to make policy decisions and kind of have a hold on what sustainability is to the city of Broomfield. You know, are the task group's ideas in line with this focus group's ideas? Are the focus group's ideas in line with the community as a whole? And just continue to gauge that so that you don't have one group influencing the process more than the other and you're kind of representing the ideas of the community as a whole. When we talk about sustainability, one of the subjects that always comes up is energy efficiency and alternative energy. In the background here, you can see a prototype of a solar parking lot light. Our streets department has developed this prototype and they're still researching options to eliminate electricity, take all of our parking lot lights off of the grid. Here's another example of alternative energy. Behind me you can see an array of solar panels here at Broomfield's Field Operations Service Center. The power generated by this solar panel array helps offset the power consumption in this large facility. I'm excited about the potential that this effort has on making public works even more efficient and environmentally friendly. I think that together, the city and its citizens can come up with ideas to make a difference for the quality of life we all enjoy and for the world we leave for our future generations. Sustainable development is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. So it really has the trade-off that we are stewards of the planet for our children and our grandchildren. I think it is important for everybody to be involved. And I realize people have huge time commitments, but I think it's important for people to let their voice be heard and to stay in contact.